Alrighty guys, so we've got a 219 metre par 3, it's 250 metre par, 250 yard par 3, so uh, it doesn't get much easier. I've hit that so well and I've gone to the bunker dead straight so I've obviously got my measurements wrong said 218 there's probably a bit more flush the five iron oh. what can you do eh she's one of those days so how good is golf what do you guys so as you can see that's my ball right there and that's like That's like a bad spaceship bag. My mum used to cook at home for breakfast on Sunday mornings, a spaceship bag. It's where you get like a piece of toast, you cut a round circle on the toast, you put the egg yolk in there. Is that American or is that anybody else do that in the rest of the world? We used to call it a spaceship egg. That's sorry, that's a stupid off topic moment. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna have to, I'm, I think I'm gonna play, play a splash shot right here because I'm lacking the mental thought of really what I need to do because no matter what, I've got to play in that horrible... I think this is a brand new bunker. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, I have got to zoom in and show you that. That probably looked like a dog's breakfast when I swung, but... That is where I ended up. So I really want to sink that part because I'll tell you what, if I can sink that for a par, I might call today a success even if nothing else happens. So let's see if we can sink that up. What can you do? That's honest bogey golf, you know. It might look better on the camera if I putted that again, but you know, who cares? Look, honestly, if I play bogey golf from here on out, that's not too bad because I hit the perfect five iron right then, came up short because I got my distance wrong, hit an amazing bunker shot, hit an average putt, so I can't complain. You know, you're given a handicap for a reason, I suppose, but yeah, any more thought on that spaceship egg? Do you guys make that at home? Let me know. Alrighty guys, so here we are at the amazing little, uh, four, well not little, 14th, it's kind of got that water carry here, it's about 200 and, Jesus, 80 or 90 metre water carry. It is a stupid shot to do, but honestly, I've driven an hour and a half, my round's not going great, I'd like to do something like this, so I'll give it for you, this is YouTube. Let's see if I can carry the water way off in the distance where those birds are. Well, I did, a bit, bit cutty, but it's over there, so it's in play. We'll uh, see if we can uh, get a little skanky par going, eh? Alrighty, guys, I've got 204 metres to the flag, which is roughly right there. Gonna punch a low five. I've moved my ball, you know, just off a piece of rock, so I don't, it's not a competition, so. I'm gonna try and hit a five and hit a sneaky one up there. pretty I think I was afraid to really get into that because it's such a hard ground there and rocks and stuff and I got my nice new clubs and I don't know does anybody else ever have those issues where you just 
you can't commit to a shot because you don't want to ruin your club. Oh, well, let's keep it going, eh? Alrighty, guys. So, if you're still watching right now, I really appreciate it. It is not the greatest round of golf I've ever played at by no stretch of the imagination. But I've got to give a huge shout out to this place. $22 it cost me to play 18 holes with the cart on a Monday. So, I don't know what's that, 12, 15 pound US dollars. It might be about 16 US dollars. I mean, Jesus Christ. Championship course to play that kind of fee and a battery buggy too. Battery buggy. Normally they have patch off, they're real cheap. But yeah, oh well, let's keep going. Alrighty, so I've got. About a 30 meter bunker shot, about 30 meters. I'm gonna try and flop it out. I'm just gonna move it a little bit out of the water there, so. See what I can do. Get it on there and let it roll out. Jesus. That was a stupid, really, bunker shot. I actually thought the bunker was actually gonna be a lot drier. So I didn't take a huge swing, I thought I was just going to nip it out, but that club had really slowed down in, I'd honestly call that cake batter, but it's out, I've got a puff for a par, up and down for a bogey. Alrighty guys, got about a 20 metre, probably 30 yard putt for par, I probably could chip it, but I'm not that confident, so I'm going to see if I can do it for the putter. Alrighty, so that was a double. Uh, what can you do? I mean, I'll be honest, this is real golf, guys. So, you know, it's hard to uh, it's hard to play good, consistent low golf when you don't play enough. But yeah, so oh, well, on to the next one, guys. So probably probably one good positive thing about not having a great round going is you get to do some stupid things or some stuff that you probably wouldn't do if you had a great round going. Probably sounds kind of stupid and not very productive, but. You know, without horrible failure, you can't appreciate success. That's a horrible analogy. Anyway, um, really normally the play here is to aim with the bunker with an iron and be short and go around the corner. I'm cutting the ball quite well today, so I'm going to try and play a driver massive and go at it. So we'll see what happens. I heard, I heard a knock right at the very end, and I'm talking like it had to be coming down by then. So I'm kind of hoping it's good. We'll see, but you know, like any of these kind of shots, it's half, half the excitement is the treat and trying to find your ball. So yeah, let's go see if we can find it. Alrighty guys, so risk rewards kind of paid off. There's the ball right, right there. So it's hit one of these trees and come down. Oh, I'm gonna putt this because I'm not confident. It's a really quite muddyish, sort of crappy, dry, muddy lie, like kind of fluffy, if you know what I mean. Just going to try and put it up there, and I, all I want is a putt inside five meters for a birdie. Ah. But it's not your day, it's not your day, eh? Alrighty guys, so I've got about a six or seven minute puff of birdie just off the green. Wasn't wasn't a great approach, but you know what can you do? So
Oh well, you know, I've got to do better than that from that position, so that's just my own stupidity from doing that type of shot, but you know, coming off a of floor and stuff like that, I'm just kind of happy to be out here, so.